Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Bantamweight bout in Risen between Yuki Matoya versus Vince Morales. And how I feel about this one right here, I'm going average confidence on um, Yuki Matoya to beat Vince Morales. I feel like Morales, you know, he one of those fighters that has more skills than what shows. Like, you look at his re record and, you know, his tracker. I feel like he's a pretty skilled fighter, pretty well-rounded. Not really weak in any particular area. And, like, you know, he has skills to be... That's why he was in the UFC and why he was able to pick up some wins inside the UFC. He's not just some scrub that just don't have anything that he's not, like... I mean, he's just not just some scrub that doesn't have anything. Like, he has solid stri enough striking, solid enough wrestling, solid enough grappling. He's a solid guy. It's just that... That's all. That's where it ends. <laughs> that's, that's that's it. Like that's where it ends. It's not like he has spectacular striking and spectacular wrestling, have spectacular fight IQ, or whatever. But you know, he's enough that you got respect. And going to where you can Matoya isn't like Matoya is like this super stud or anything. He's a underrated fighter, but yeah, but he should win this one. So average confidence, you can Matoya, and that's where that ends. <laughs> I think um, prediction wise, to get to the prediction of this quick pick, I think um, Mirage is a solid guy, but I think Matoya. Has some pretty heavy kicks, and I think he can look at some of the fights, you know, the Gutierrez fight and some of the other fights that um, where fighters were able to exploit the you know leg kicks against um Morales, and he didn't really have a good response to it. I think Matoya can start to use those heavy leg, those heavy kicks he has, and target the legs of um Morales, and, you know, really take away his mobility early. You know, really to take away his mobility and his offense. Like you know, you start taking away the legs, it just makes him hard to. The move makes it hard to plant on your own strikes. It really just debilitates you. I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to look to blast from the legs. And then really start to set up the strikes up top by, you know, tacking low. Chop the tree. Even though he's not really a tree at all. But but a similar fashion. Whether you be a tall tree, like you're 6'8", or you be 5'7", same, same exact mechanics. You chop the tree, and then the top of the head is open. So I think he's going to blast the legs. They probably start to mix to the body as well with some kicks. And then I think in the second round, he starts to really start to set up the, the kicks to the top. Well, I mean, the whole setup is to set up the top, but I think he's going to really go for the, you know, the head. You know, he's going he's gonna to go for up high in the second round. I think he catches um, Morales with a head kick after, you know, chopping his legs up and blasting him to the body with kicks and put him on the back foot early and often. Then once he has him, like, limping a bit, I think he's going to bring it up top, catch him with a head kick. Whether he, like, Slightly like blocks it or just lands clean on top of the dome. I think um, you're gonna see Morales kind of buckle a little bit, and then I see Yuki Matoya just swarming him and getting him out of there second round. So in this one, I have Yuki Matoya via second round TKO.